So by far one of my most popular videos has been this one, which is me editing an STL file, but the picture quality is hideous. The audio is awful. And I've been promising myself for the last few months that before the end of this year, I would redo this video. Now we're running out of time between the end of this year and me saying that this would be the first video of 2018. So while I can still get in and say, this is the last video of 2017, today I'm gonna to show you once again how to edit an STL file. And this time I'm gonna take some of the feedback and comments that I've had on this video and see if I can sort those things out. I'm gonna go into a bit more detail with how I'm doing it. And I'm also gonna go a little bit slower and explain a little bit more. So let's get into it. So like before, I'm once again gonna use FreeCAD for this. And as you've seen in some of my other videos, I really like how I work in Fusion 360 and love what I can do with it. But in my last video, I also mentioned that I absolutely love FreeCAD. And this is one of those things that FreeCAD just does very, very well. What I've done is I've brought in one of my other designs and this one is shared on Thingiverse and the like. And what this is, is a GoPro mount template. This one's been made so that it 3D prints better. So some adjustments from how the standard one would be in that this side is a lot thicker with the recess where the thumb screw would actually bolt it down. And, oh, sorry. And over here, you can see that it's actually got supports in so that this prints a lot easier. It's also quite a bit thicker so that it holds the nut better and actually just prints. What you'd want to do to actually make changes to this is be able to edit the SDL file. So what you're gonna to do to start off with, you're going to open the STL file in FreeCAD over here. And then you're gonna to go to part at the top here. And you're gonna come down to create a shape from mesh. You're gonna click on that. And that's gonna come up and ask you for the tolerance. And 0 0.1 is fine. Uh, if you want higher detail, you can drop it down to 0 0.01. Now, I'm going to leave that at 0 0.1. Click on OK. And what you're going to see this does is it's actually going to draw shapes all over it eventually. Maybe. There we go. Right. So all these triangles... <clears throat> are the edges of the original that have now been drawn in. So you've got that in there, but you've got both of the both the original STL file and the shape that you've now created visible. So you're gonna click on the original, you're gonna right click on it, and you are going to go and say, toggle visibility. And that's going to hide that. And you can see there, it's actually been grayed out. <clears throat> the next thing here is that and you can do these in a, in a different order, but you're going to go part and then you're going to go and refine the shape. And look at this section over here and this section over here is where you're going to notice the difference. And there you can see it's actually smoothed out all the flat areas. So that it actually is just less fast. It's just simplified it so that the edges work better. And this is one of the things that FreeCAD does very, very well, because it only leaves enough of the edges in there to actually leave it that everything you need is in there. <clears throat> right, so now you have got a file that you can work with, but this is just the outer shell. So what you have to do to the outer shell to make it workable is you have to tell the part to make it a solid. So you want to basically fill in all the insides of the part so that if you make a cut, 
that there's still a face left after you take that cut out otherwise it's going to be hollow so i'm going to say convert to solid and again that's going to take a little while and there it is so now you've got both of those again you're going to take the previous one because there you can see it's the same one just that it's now solid you're going to take that one right click on it and again you're going to say toggle visibility now there you can see the shortcut for that is a space bar and that'll actually go and take it out as well so what i'll do now is i'm actually going to hide the new one that i've created and i'm going to bring the old one back and what you can do once you've actually transformed it like this is you can now go and make changes to it so i'm going to take a cube and just bring that out here and what I'll do is take this so I'm going to highlight the first one which is your target body I'm going to hold the control key on the keyboard and I'm going to click on the second one which becomes the tool body those options highlight here and this one over here is a boolean which then goes and subtracts the one from the other one. Now when you go in here, there you can see what I mean by it's hollow. You can see all the insides of the shape and you don't want to be able to see that because that is now a body with a hole in it. And for 3D printing, that is completely useless. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to hit the delete key and it's going to undo that. I'm going to then hide that one using the space, bring up the solid, and now I'm going to do the same. Select that one, hold down the control key, take the cube, run this, and it's now going to cut that out of there. But what it'll do now is leave it with a solid face, and there you can see the difference that I'm talking about. It's actually left all the faces in there, so it's only taken out the shape of the cube and left solid faces on everything else and that is what the option to create or to convert to solid it does with the the shape that we've got in there and that is another one of those things that just makes it so easy to work with free cad in things like this because what you can do now because this is a solid you can now go and say, right, what I'd actually like to do with this, and let's go to underneath, there we go, right in the middle already. Uh, radius, I'm gonna bring that out. Let's look at it from the front. And that is exactly the same. I can now go and say let's take this all the way up and zoom into it if I took this here and put that at exactly the same height as the top of this and now ran that same boolean script and actually cut that out it would cut this whole base plate out and just leave me the three tangs for the GoPro mount which is kind of done, but because of the edges, it's left that out. So I'm going to undo that. Let me turn that on for a little bit more processing power. I'm going to now, just to make life easier, take that one. And all I did was I made the cylinder a little bit bigger. might leave that top edge in there so you take the target body control key tool body that one there and there we go so that's now cut that bottom part off and now I can go and say right I'd like to add in a 
the square plates. And if I went to the front, that's in the right place. Uh, position I want to make it. So we'll say 30 millimeters long and about 20 millimeters wide. We'll bring that back, turn to the side, and bring that over. And that then gives me, in this case, just a different plate. But at the same time, that really can be anything. So for instance, if I needed to add a different bracket in here and let's for instance say I had to make further modifications to this. So um, I wanted a bracket I could screw down onto something. I would take a cylinder, one over here and bring it up a bit. Slip it from the side that is in the middle. Height that needs to be there. The top and the cube needs to be make it 50 long and bring it down and a cylinder edit duplicate and this one needs to go plus 18 to be exactly the same on the other side and I can see that isn't exactly in the middle and if I should do it and I'm going to take the cube subtract the first one take the cut because the cut now becomes a new one subtract the second one and that for instance would be a plate that you can now screw down onto something and then mount a GoPro to it. <clears throat> the other nice thing that FreeCAD does is if I select both of those bodies, I can now go and export the two of them as a step file, STL file, or whatever I need to do and have a solid body that'll actually go and print. you can go and join them so if you say select both the cuts click on here and actually join them this will go and create one body with both of those parts in if you do that i would recommend just refining the shape again to make sure that everything works and that there are no holes because that, that does show up the other thing that you want to do if you do this pro that this thing is actually or go through this process is stick it into a slicer like Cura. Cura is very good at showing up any mistakes when you slice it and you look at the layers to make sure that there isn't anything missing even if you're not going to 3d print it you can use that to actually check the model and see uh, other applications that's very good at that is 3d builder will actually go and show you uh, if there are any problems with the model that you need to need to address and fix uh, and we'll actually try and repair them as well. But if you do it right in here, you should be fine. The times when you do get problems with this is if you sometimes go and have two bodies overlapping and then export them, where that overlap is, it actually does leave a hole. So they almost cancel each other out. And if you have watched the last video, which I highly recommend you do anyway, you will have noticed that I had those two gears over each other and then I subtracted um, the, the one from the other one to actually just create a, a, a plain surface on there. Uh, and that was to stop that from happening because it, it would have created or there's a chance it would have actually left a gap between those. And that is partially why I actually refined the shape again here. And that really is it. Very, very nice. Like I said, FreeCAD does a few things 
very, very well, and this is one of them. Play with it, use it, and once again, let me know in the comments what you think of this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. If you don't like it, let me know what I can do better. Guys, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching the videos, and thank you so much for sharing this with everybody on social media. I really do appreciate it. This is the last video for the year. I promise it, and this time I'm 50% sure it will be the last video for the year. But either way, I'll see you again soon. Have a good day.